In this tutorial, we're going to explore how to use R to calculate probabilities from any arbitrary normal distribution. So, for an example, let's let x be a normal random variable that follows a normal distribution with mean negative 4 and variance 25. And one question we could ask ourselves is, well, what's the probability that x is less than negative 6? To answer this question, we know that we need to find the area under the curve, this normal curve, which is centered at negative 4, that's to the left of negative 6. And we could standardize our negative 6, that quantity that we have, and then use the standard normal distribution, but R makes this much easier. So in order to find this lower tail area, we can use the function in R, P norm, which will want us to tell it what quantity we're using, so that's negative 6, that's our quantile. It wants to know the mean of our normal distribution, which is negative 4. It also wants to know the standard deviation of our normal distribution, which for us is the square root of our variance, so the square root of 25 is 5. Now let's see what this actually equals. So I open our studio and I say p norm, my quantile is negative 6, the mean is negative 4, the standard deviation is the square root of 25. I'm just sh showing you uh, that you can calculate those on the fly, just in case you've forgotten. You hit enter and you find that this lower tail area is approximately 0.345. Now what if you don't want a lower tail area? Well, let's do another example. Remember that x here is a normal distribution with mean negative 4, variance of 25, and our second question is what's the probability that our random variable is greater than 6? So to answer this question, we know that we need to find an area under the normal curve. Again, we're centered at negative 4. And now we want to find what's this upper tail area above 6. And again, we can use R directly using the p-norm function. Remember that P, the function p-norm gives you a lower tail area, which is this unshaded portion in this situation. So we need to do 1 minus the lower tail area to get the upper tail area. Let's go to RStudio. So we're going to do 1 minus p-norm. Our quantile is 6 now. We still have the same mean of negative 4 and standard deviation of 5. And we find that that upper tail area is approximately 0 0.022.